good morning welcome back to bghq banter today you find me photocopying um someone when they set up the office decided it was a good idea to put the printer on top of the desk <laughs> and i can't now find the buttons um elspeth's come in this morning to do a class asked me to do a bit of photocopying so um we'll find up here but welcome to week 26 mm -hmm. we really are halfway through the year now there I'll say that again. I can't get down that way. <laughs> it's just been not the safest. Uh. <sighs> so it is super busy at BTHQ today. We've got nine ladies and a teacher next door. We've got four ladies and a teacher in here, which means the car park is here heaving and overflowing and everyone's had to double park but I love a day like this when lots of people are here it's really really nice to have a busy buzzy studio mm. and the hanging baskets are looking beautiful at the moment <laughs> Angie's mandala class is well underway say hello everybody <laughs> so the ladies have finished their mandalas now. Let's have a look at them. Oh, a swirly whirly one. That's focusing. That's beautiful. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's my. Oh, that's uh, pretty. Website, you'll know I like the triangle own. shaped rock, but that's yeah, it's managed to do a circle. Yeah. Yeah. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. Oh, hello. Oh. That's actually like shimmery paint. Give it a gentle tilt, Diane. That is gorgeous. I love that one. That's very you, Carol. Mm. Beautiful colours. Really nice colours. Who else is have we got? Let's have a look. Oh, it's this lovely orange one. We've used shimmery paint as well. It's beautiful. Just not the pink. Gorgeous. Let's have a look at yours. Oh, I love these shimmery paints. Mm. We didn't have those last time, Angie. No, I've got a whole box full now there. They're gorgeous. <laughs> what are you up to? Did you just wear that as a hat? <laughs> <laughs> they do make good hats. You've got your little boxes finished. Let's have a look at them. Michelle and uh, Heather have finished theirs. That's really cute. They're really sweet. Well done. Sarah's just giving hers a little press. Well, that was a lovely, busy morning. Having a little bit of quiet time now. I've just had a one-to-one -one with Jo. Um, she brought in a simplicity pattern that was supposed to be one of their easy sews, but the instructions were so inside out and back to front and convoluted um, that it was just hideous. I honestly would love to know who taught somebody to understand and read the very first commercial pattern ever written, because dressmaking with commercial patterns has obviously been kind of handed down the lines um, from one generation to the next because even as I'm not an experienced dressmaker but as somebody who makes a lot of their own clothes I still really struggle to understand the instructions in some of the big four patterns hence why I always recommend the majority of indie patterns anyway the Iron Man has just delivered my iron and um, disappointingly it wasn't Iron Man that delivered my iron but um, it's just arrived but if you are Marie and you live in Hutton I very nearly got your washing machine he was taking it off the back of the lorry um, instead of my very small package here with my new iron in it so I've saved the day Marie you now have a washing machine heading to you as I speak okay so Friday is over um, I have written some instructions for tomorrow's class we're doing a new pattern um, I needed them idiot proofed so <laughs> Elspeth hello I'm an idiot <laughs> Elspeth's having a go at drawing it out just to see if I'd written it down correctly and I hadn't so I'm going um, to edit that now and then I'm going to go home we have a Moomin Valley watch party tonight myself Elspeth my mum and Izzy we are going to watch back-to-back -back episodes of Moomin Valley and drink gin and when the kids are in bed we're gonna jump in the hot tub so I will see you bright and early tomorrow for another class Good morning, welcome back to BTHQ Banter. I've got a lovely day today. I've got five ladies with me in the studio who've all been with me lots of times before. So they kind of know what they're doing, kind of don't. But it also means that I can show them a few more advanced techniques that I wouldn't necessarily cover in a class. And typically the phone is ringing, one sec. 
what was I saying? So yeah, things like um, which side to put your zipper foot on, which side to sew down, actually using your brain and getting the cogs to tell you what side you need to sew on and things like that. Things that we can't necessarily always cover in class. So you're quite lucky today, ladies. You're getting a few little extras. <laughs> Jodie has turned up today with this from my sewing box, which was a present for her, for her birthday. And look at this. Look at this beautiful fabric. It comes with all these gorgeous Bambi fabrics. Oh. And you've got ribbon and thread. It's like, a, is it a subscription box? Or you just it pick a box? A subscription. <laughs> oh, oh, it can be a subscription. Even that though, I love that. That's just really pretty on its own, isn't it? Surprise. Yeah. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? I've got these ladies so well trained, they've all turned up with their bags and their little jiffy bags with their fabrics in them. Here we go, five beautiful rectangular box pouchy things. They are gorgeous. I particularly love this unicorn fabric that I definitely need to acquire. Sue, so would you be so kind as to undo it because you have to look inside. Release your inner unicorn. How good is that? Have you had fun, ladies? Absolutely. <laughs> So Saturday has come to an end. Um, I completely forgot to pick the camera up this afternoon, but I did have Catherine and Lucy in. They were busy crocheting daisies and layered flowers, which were very pretty. Um, as I say, unfortunately, I forgot to pick the camera up. They left about three, and for the last two hours, I have just been sewing, trying to redesign and redevelop something I've been working on for a little while. Um, nothing to show you just as yet, um, but hopefully I'll get a bit more of a chance to sew on it next week. Anyway, I'm off home now. I've got a night in with the girls. Um, check out my Instagram feed, Arty Farty Mac, if you want to see the pictures from that. I'm sure they will be eventful. Um, and then I will be back in on Monday when we have got to package up all the old machines and get them ready and sent back to Janome. Good morning. Welcome back to BTHQ Banter. I'm joined today by the lovely Vivian. It is I don't know what day it Tuesday. is. Tuesday. It's Tuesday and we are in. We've got the lights up, which actually I haven't turned on, which I probably should. <laughs> that would be a good thing to do, wouldn't it? And we are filming the drawstring backpack class today. We've already had a disaster. I thought I couldn't do maths. It turns out Viv just... Can't measure. Can't use a ruler. <laughs> um, and instead of turning over three quarters of an inch, managed to turn over an inch and a quarter. So my piece of fabric just was tiny and it should have been big. And anyway, we've, um, we've started as we yeah. mean to go yeah. on. There will be it's going to be a later. great course, guys. If you haven't bought it yet, I'll put the link in the description. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> right, next. Yep. We're now going to film our produce can just, bags. Can you just and put this on sure. Crafty Class and say we've just filmed it. It's filmed. a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yeah, take a picky. Stick it on Instagram. Oh, my eyes are watering. Um, yes, now we're going to film. It is five past twelve, so we've got time, which is great, to film the produce bags and hopefully the reusable paper fabric towels. I really don't know what to call those. <laughs> fabric paper towels. I'll just call them reusable paper towels on the spreadsheet. But they're not paper. They're I'm fabric. Not, <laughs> 20 to 2. I've got an hour and 10 minutes till I have to leave to do the school run and we have three videos in the can. Now comes the longest part, the edit. That takes forever. I then need to write all of the instructions, get all the PDFs done, send them all off to the lovely Barbara who will upload them to the website for me. Um, and there is an awful lot of behind the scenes stuff. So it just goes to show, yes, we can film stuff fairly quickly, but the actual administration takes forever. So I'm going to go home, make a little bit of a start on it. Not a lot, because Grandma Mac is in the air as I speak. She lands in the UK from Australia at 6 o'clock tonight, and she will be with us for five weeks. So I am sure that you will see her on BTHQ Banter. It's very unusual for her not to make an appearance in the studio. She likes to sew too, and she likes to uh, come and pilfer my scraps. So... I will see you again tomorrow for the last day of BTHQ Banter week 26. I think mm. we're on now, Viv, halfway. aren't we? We are halfway. Um, and we have got little girls dressmaking tomorrow, which is one of my favourite classes. So I'll see you then. Bye. 
Good morning, welcome back to BTHQ Banter. Today is Wednesday and we're back in the studio for another busy day. We've got the lovely Nikki behind me here making some bunting and Nabila and Lydia are over here making a little girl's dress. And over here is the lovely Claire who's in using the lounge and she's busy furiously trying to get her socks ready for her next sock lesson um, but I'm sure she'll be successful. I am filming another tutorial today um, for my YouTube channel. I'm going to show you how to make these lovely little tissue pouches which are really sweet little easy gifts um, and they're perfect for teacher presents. Um, so that may or may not have gone up on the channel already by the time you see this otherwise it will probably be up next week. If it is up I will link it up here in a card but if there's no card here it's not up so Nikki has finished her, her bunting give us a little twizzle Nikki it's very pretty you've not done any sewing before really have you no, not really, other than no. a get to know your sewing machine session so yay it's very very pretty we like that <laughs> Nabila's finished her gorgeous little dress it's absolutely beautiful blowing in the wind and this one is just to die for look at these gorgeous snails I love it so it's Wednesday night I'm in my PJs it is actually 25 past 11 um, and I've just finished editing this week's BTHQ banter and realized that it cut out right there right at the end of the dress I didn't even say goodbye so I thought I'd pop on quickly and just wrap it all up I haven't uploaded the tissue pouch tutorial hence there was no card but I have edited it and it will be going up next week so do make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so that you will receive a notification when it goes live thank you very much for watching I'll be back same time next week with BTHQ Banter week 27